Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. I ran 4.2 kilometers today. Without stopping. Haven't done that for a while. And I was really tired as well, but... I'm okay now. I'm okay now. Okay. We are here. Um... I'm hoping something different will happen this time, cause um... Cause this is getting old now. This is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. Yeah, take it. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. Hmm. Well, there's another mirror though. We can go there. I have a bunch of masks now. Hello. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Okay. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, the lightning makes me see, makes me think that, um, there's the Maw coming. Maw is most likely coming any second. Oh, there we go. One of these must have meant something to her. Okay, let's put it together now. Cool. Let's see what's her phone number, then let's call her. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. No, it's one number too many. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Hmm. What about mom? <laughs> yes. Yes, mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. And the final one. Oh my god, Ellie. I thought you were. No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But, Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. Yeah, you can be just small. Or large. Or large is even more. More easier. Okay, I have two masks. That Does that mean I can go back and put the masks on, on those people that I've seen? the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone so Tori it's you the real you that's your name gotcha bitch it made sense really a name is more than what everyone calls you it's what you feel yourself to be oh it's not locked a surprise to be sure I don't welcome one. Okay, Tori and Elia. Huh? Here we go. There are so many. There are so many, man. So many mirrors. I, I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to make of it. Okay, let's go back. Ma, please don't be there. I just wanna put masks on babies 
That's my whole goal here. I think. I'm not sure either if I'm going the right way or not. Not one bit. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, it's no big deal. I mean, I have it. Okay, it turns out this place wasn't actually a waste of time. Um, I mean, I kind of thought about it, but... I mean, I took everything that I needed to take, so I didn't think it would matter anymore. But okay. Oh! Okay. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Nine. And I even said it. I even said it, number nine. Okay. I'll have two number nines. Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is... I didn't listen. Holy shit. I was still in the meme world. Oh. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. Well, congratulations. It took us some time. This is embarrassing how many times I miss these things. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas. Nick. Let's get you out of here. Okay, Nick. Nicholas Cage. Let's get you uncaged. Okay? You 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 okay with No, 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 listen. I'm running. Go. Go. There's been a million times where I thought he would get me. But he didn't. Oh, close. So close. I felt his touch. It was creepy. Oh, we got away. Ma, you need to learn manners. You need to learn consent. So many things. This is not how you get a girl. Trust me. I know a few things now. A few years of me being alive. Hello. Nick. Here you go. Alright. This is gonna fall apart, right? <laughs> Anywhere is better than here. Imagine if you sent them even in a worse place than this. Oh my god. Hold on, what's over here? What's this? Will you just let me pick you up already? Ah, I just need to go into a mirror. There's the mirror. Give me those things. Hold on, let me check this area first. Sound of read. A quiet girl. Okay. Mr. Rekovich is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I am a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that I need someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. 
At least the girl is quiet, keeps to herself mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Well, uh, sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversation and I swear it sounds like two people are talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. You should have... Yeah, you're a bit uh, too naive, I guess. You're a bit too naive. You have a few things to learn. Yes. yes. Fucking finally. You said it, girl. You said it, sister. Time to get back to the day room. Oh, crap. That's like a whole day's trip. Can I just... Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't even have to. This place. Just... This is where it started. What? Started here. Okay, we'll find out. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck that you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? I guess all marriages have ups and downs, this being their first down, and the last one as well. Oh well, what can you do? That's marriage. Uh oh. I saw a starter. Can I use these? Can I use these forever? Can do it, right? Hmm. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Was it really worth it? Well, I guess I can't really continue the game if I didn't do that. But was it worth it? Oh yeah, we saved a couple people from the other world, so I guess it was. But was it though? I mean, you're traumatized now. Well, you were traumatized anyway. So... So it's okay. What more damage can you do? Use it many times. Kinda yeah. Name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> nice one. Holy shit, what is happening? Okay, we're going here. Spy name it is. Bond. James Bond. I mean, James Bond is the spyest spy you can ever spy on. Because he's a spy. But... We have a day room to catch. And this is even near here. I think so. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what sadness wanted me to see. Okay. This way? I hope she's alright. Hold on. Look at the camera. Why are you looking up? Okay, I don't know. I don't like where this is going. I don't feel like Everything will be nice and okay. I keep seeing it in my dreams, the other place. Dust and death as far as the eye can see. The feeling of nothing is tearing at my soul. I wake up choking, feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there is no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? <laughs> Weird places to emphasize on, but okay. Day room. The day room. Let's go. Richard. I have the cutters. Bolt cutters. Hope you're proud of me. You saved a couple of souls. Here we go. And um and I escaped from the ma. The ma in love. The ma in law. Yeah. There you are. 
thank God. You're right. I was so worried. <sighs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? And it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Telling you, man, it's all a big old trap. This is a trap. Okay, time to use my old powers, I guess. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's use cutters. I don't think I actually needed to use my old power for this, but hey, okay, it's okay. We did it. That's what matters, right? Let's go in. Richard? Are you there? There's a memory there. We can put it that back together. Or try at least. How did that work again? What's this? Oh. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Hmm. Hmm. Richard. Don't be a dick. If I find you, don't be a dick. Uh, locked. I have this. Okay, that doesn't work. I mean, you could kick it with your leg. But I doubt you have the manpower for that. Mainly because you're a woman. Uh, oh, do, 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 here we go. I don't know what this is for exactly. Combine it with this. Can you combine it? No, no. No. Okay. Never mind then. Gotta be quick. 
Gotta be quick. I mean, I have the crown, but for what? What is this? Show me. Anything, please. What is this for? This is showing me nothing. It's giving me nothing. Okay. Um. I don't know, let's go back for now. I have the crown, so... Maybe I can put it somewhere. Oh. I didn't hear that. I'm not hearing this, however... It's nice that the subtitles are on. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness, rather than sadness. Mm -hmm. I can put the crown here, or whatever that is. What? Oh. Hold on. I feel like I can do more. There we go. Another injunction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Right, I thought we were gonna find Richard. Why did you go here anyway, if you could just go back? I mean, there was a door that you came from. If you wanted to go back so badly, you could just revisit that door. Or are you talking like a way out of here to find Richard? Or... I don't know. Okay, I am a bit lost, as you can see. Can't... Do much of anything. However, there is the other world. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. That works. That works. Works for me. The power of the world. Give me more power. What? The spark's too weak to absorb. God damn sparks, why do you do this? Why do you do this to me, sparks? I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Dude, that's like uh, ancient history. We know that. That's sadness. Like forever ago. Hold on. I wanna check what's it what's this? Aha. Aha. A key. To what? Teacher's room's key. Okay. Thank you, game. Let's see. Thank for the blades never. Go. 
um, unsharp? I don't know. What's the word right now? I forgot. I forget. I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder, like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd done through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in the world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should shoot, shoot. I could immediately tell he was special. Yeah, and I'm hungry. I need to eat after this video, but I gotta do something first in this game. Or else I can't finish the game. Or the video, I mean. Well, both actually occur. Oh. What is this? get it a sheet of music well at least part of it mm-hmm where do I put it I mean I could go there but I don't think it's wise to go there when you're when I have unfinished business Makes no sense why we. Oh, I need to find another part. But that's in another place, I think, yeah. But I gotta use my spirit shield, I can't. I don't have it though. Horses! Oh. Gather round, children! I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? I guess she was like you. Sadness was like you. Waiting time. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter that, uh, and that he saw our little get-togethers as a therapy, rather than artistic expression. Eventually I wore him down, he agreed to, he agreed to enter the university, uh, but on the condition that it would be uh, his chosen field, and so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first I was uh, rather skeptical thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere comp competence, but deep inside I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became a few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner damage. Yes. No, 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 no. However, where's the damn music sheet? That was the sheet. Okay, this is where I came from. No need to visit this area again. Oh, there we go. Now we can combine, right? There's one more. God damn it. Oh, I have the I have the key, right? Oh, it makes sense now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm pretty sure the paper is here. Like, 100% sure now. What is this? Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, 
He brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by Ben. I'm getting really, really hungry. I might just eat you. Yes, you who's watching, I might eat you. I'm that hungry now. I'm so hungry. God damn. Give me food. I'll take it. Anything. That should be all the pieces of the score now. That's nice. Mm hmm. Okay. Anything else? Yes, of course. So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He. Mr. Reckon? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Well, what can we say? Richard is a complicated man. Probably has a lot of self denial and probably makes it believe him, probably believes it himself, you know. That's how strong his denial is. Sometimes, I guess. This is what I like to believe anyways. Piano. Where are you at? Piano. Okay. There we go. Just take some more, just in case. Very nice. Can anyone play piano? Hmm? Can you play piano? I used to play piano. Like one song <laughs> I learned. That's about it. Okay, let's just run through this place. Okay. I think that's enough. Oh my god. This is the creepiest place ever. On on the down sp split screen, it doesn't really matter. But on the up one, it's actually realistic, so... That's why it's creepy more on the upside of the screen. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. I just wanted to say that. Grief. Sorrow. And something else. And the rapey vibe. I'm just still YouTube doesn't hear me, right? Okay. Don't demonetize me, please, YouTube. I just said two words, okay? Please. Mm, oh, hello. What's up? Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. A ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Yeah, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Uh, what is that? It's like something stirred inside him. Hmm. Yeah, he was like trying to not to succumb to those weird ass feelings. That's the vibe I'm getting. 
Okay, more here. Killed her. Right? That's what you did. Uh oh. What's up? What's here? Want me to ride you? That's kinda hard, but let's do it. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise okay, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on yes I can feel it okay it's around here somewhere oh well, it's real fucking specific hey I'm trying to help here you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, oh, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? Damn. There. Where? What? Building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Okay. 
He's obsessed. What has he done? What have I done? We couldn't have known him. I let him into my home. It was like a father to me. Bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back, oh, just whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. What did he do? Did I miss something? That was awesome, by the way. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13 year old daughter. Oh. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I. I don't. I found a sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me, Thomas. You have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. No one should here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear, I'll go away. You'll never... Wait, but you... No, let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Oh. 
Holy shit. This is what I like in a game. The constant turns, constantly changes things. This is how you do it, man. This is great. Each part has been different, introducing something different. The whole cutscene was amazing. Damn. Chills. But I gotta go. So hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. Thank you for watching this masterpiece. Man, we're getting to live life. Awesome.